All right, shout out to all, shout out to Give it all the glory, honor, and praises to the yeah, album by Shep, by Shep, by Shep, and Cock and Hush. All right, though, honestly, apostles and the elders at Great Mill Stone, we do well. All right, we can salutations to all you all getting out there pushing and preaching. It's true. All right, for, uh, for the nation of Israel, throughout the four corners of the earth. For the truth and sincerity in your hearts and for the love of the gospel. All right? Hey man, things are happening, man. Things are happening real fast, man. To the to the naked eye, it may seem like ain't nothing happening, hey, but to the spiritual, things are coming to pass, man. You got the mark of the beast, all right? And prophecies are being fulfilled. The girl, Trump, Trump shut down the government, man, which could lead to potential a number of things, you know? But as you see things right now, the brother got a scripture, hey man, things are good cheap right now, you know? You got gas prices uh, dropping, you know, from a, from a, from a spike. But the stock market is doing terribly, you know? Yeah, man. So, uh, this is 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 17. Uh -huh. It says, Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? All right? Because when you go to the previous chapter in that 2nd Ezra, all right, the angels were revealing to Ezra the things that is going to happen, all right? And the things that's going to happen on this land. It has never since uh, happened, but since there was a nation on the face of the earth, all right? So, I'll get that. It's a Daniel 12 and 1. So basically, what's, what's happening right now is uh, we're going to enter, we're already into Jacob's trouble, man. This is the prelude of Jacob's trouble, all right? This is when, uh, this is what they call the calm before the storm, all right? A lot of things has been happening, and you know, our people uh, in, in the uh, ghettos, Jake, they dumb and die south, so they don't know what's going on. Good, man, you know, but pretty soon everything is gonna hit everybody, you know, and it's gonna hit everybody for them to realize, damn, it's this that's going on in the world that I don't know, okay? <clears throat> Calm, brother, I got it. Uh, brother just read, uh, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days, all right? Daniel 12 and 1, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which stand before the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble. Like brother just said, this is the prelude before Jacob's trouble, all right? Now, when you read the book, the prelude is a, is a, is a, uh, is a paragraph, usually a paragraph long, that tells you what to be expected, all right? Now, we're telling you what to be expected during the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? It says, uh, such as ne uh, there should be a time of trouble, such as never since there was a nation even to the same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. All right, so there's gonna be a time of trouble upon this planet Earth that's never since seen since there was a nation. So out of all the terrible times in history, this terrible time is gonna be the climax, all right? The worst, the number one worst, you know? The really? scriptures, oh, go ahead. The talk about blood into a, a horse's bridle, man. You know, there's gonna be a mass death, an innumerable ma a ma amount of people are gonna die. You got something to say? Yeah, I'm just going to the scripture. It says, 2nd chapter 16, verse 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? God. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. Uh -huh. The beginning of famine and great death. Because with that uh, government shutdown, everything that has to do with government assistance is non -vo is, is, is void to you people now. You can't get it anymore, man. And funding. And, yep, that means uh, your Section A's, uh, anything government assisted, like uh, Social Security, uh, your food stamps, uh, medical, healthcare, things of that sort, man. Anything that has anything to do with the government, you're not going to be able to receive it. Uh, actually, uh, the government has something to do with flying airlines, too, man. We have uh, people we would call uh, TCA, uh, uh, Transportation uh, Security Agents. All right, and they depend solely on the government. They are uh, government workers, uh, mail uh, post workers. Yeah, uh, all, all the employees of the government, man. Yeah, every every employee of the government. Government you know? funding has ceased. Hey, the apostle, the apostle, uh, elder apostle from the cop in the video. All right, uh, he, he titled that video. Uh, uh, it, it, the title of that video is January third, two thousand nineteen. Cause he, he didn't put the title of it. This is the date. Day. Yeah, it's just the date. The date of that video. The title of that video. Golden Pops Ricard's page. All right, GMS push on. 
All right, it, it, it'll be titled January 3rd, 2019. And in the video, he stated that it's gonna hit these, hey man, uh, these women are in trouble because these women aren't getting paid, all right, through government funding because the government is shut down, all yep. right? He said this is gonna start hitting these women. That's the brother going into, man. Everybody that's getting paid by the government, so, uh, postal offices, all right, anything that, that do a federal, all right, federal funding, it's, it's going, it's shutting down, man. Hey, even certain uh, security branches, man, you know? Hey, 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 I would be surprised if you don't see police officers out here like that after a while, that's you know? right. Because these are the things that's to come, man. Without no government funding, people in that man would think to themselves, why do we have to even work anymore? And then they're going to go into looting. Then they're going to go into rock stores. They're going to go into home invasions, things of that sort. They're going to be out here robbing each other so they can have something to eat. You're going to see women out here uh, selling their bodies for food so they can feed their children, man. So these are the things that's to come, man. That's what that family is going to be, man. Okay? And also the, uh, the word of the Heavenly Father because this, hey, the prophets of the Lord is not going to be here. Okay? All right, like I said in that Daniel 12 and 1. In the Daniel 12 and 1, it said, All that should be saved of my people are those whose names are found written in the book. Mm -hmm. Who is that, man? The, the, the one third. That's All right? right? Keep going. Come bro. It says, uh, The beginning of wars yep. and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Yep. And he asking this question, and that's what you people should be asking yourselves, man. What am I going to do? When that time come, man, hey, us being men of the Lord, and hey, we have we holding on to faith, we holding on to hope, and we're praying to the Heavenly Father that He deliver us. Hey, but uh, some brothers might uh, have it on that spirit uh, to be like, you know what? Well, just in case that day come, I might need a rifle or a gun so I can go hunt when I'm running out in the woods or something like that. Or, uh, you know, I might buy a whole bunch of gas, you know, while gas prices are so cheap. You know what I'm saying? So when the inflation hit, you could be somebody that, you know, uh, have gas and stuff to move around and handle your affairs that you need to handle under the radar without having to go into the gas station. And because when you get that chip in your hand, man, it's going to be over with for you to just pay for things, man. You're going to have to have that chip in your hand for you to be able to have anything, you know? And buying well, by those things, we still got faith in the Lord, you know? Yep. Like we, got, we got faith in the Lord that he'll guide us to, to actually utilize those things, like my brother. Like my brother used to like to put it, uh, Gabar, he, he say, uh, if they're just tools, man, a jacket, all right, a toothbrush, we don't have faith in the jacket to keep us warm, we got faith in the Lord, all, that's why I said all praises to be to the Lord, man, yep. we got praises to the Lord that is going to use this jacket to warm us, man, all right, that's why you wear clothes, that's why you wear shoes, because they're just tools, all right, so we, if we know this day is coming, you know, it, and if brothers, uh, uh if certain, if certain men, uh, have the spirit to go and get vittles, supplies for why, that day. Why things is cheap to get it. Why things is, why it's in their liberty to get it, not even why it's cheap, because you can go and take that shit. <laughs> hey, in that the, day, right? Because the Lord, <laughs> hey man, the Lord, hey, for those brothers that don't do it, like, hey man, I'm going to survive solely on the Lord. Yep. Hey man, they might they might stumble upon a dead soldier. Yep. Uh, 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 abandoned. Gun. Hey, even a, 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 an abandoned battalion. They, mm. got, they got food, they got clothes, and it's abandoned. You know what I'm saying? Or, or uh, what's it called? Dooms, they prepare uh, yeah. shuttles, man. Because this day is coming, man. And, and he's either might see it. He's yeah. either might see that day. So they prepare, man. They're doing exactly what the brother said, man. They get they getting gas and canned goods and building bunkers. Mm -hmm. All right? Because they don't have faith in the Lord. Hey, that's what I'm going to say. Because the difference with them is they're not Israelites, man. That's right. And the Lord is not going to deal with the heathen the way he's going to deal with the men of the Lord, man. Yeah. You know? Hey, us men of the Lord, like, so we so, hey, some brothers might be prepped here enough, just, you know, something like, so they can carry on the run or whatever the case may be, man. They would have, have the spirit may have it, okay? We're going to get back into the scriptures. It says, uh, Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Scourges for amendment, man. Scourges so you can repay those sins that you so love, you know? Yeah. Talking to our people, of course. Yep. I mean, the Lord, the Lord's gonna repay these heathens too. They ain't, they ain't gonna get no, uh, they ain't gonna come back in the kingdom in the, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, luxuries of the kingdom. Come back in the uh, bitterness, man. You know, man. Yeah, right. Cause he said uh, the scorches, man. The, the Lord is finna scorch this place, man. It's gonna let this place get as wicked as it could possibly get in that end time in Jacob's trouble. 
and then he's gonna send down that fire, man, to come destroy you motherfuckers, man. Everybody that did want to take heed to the prophets that was out there on the highways and the byways, risking their lives, giving their t giving their time, okay? Giving their time. They could be doing anything else in the world, but you got men out here that's warning your ass of the days to come, man. Why? Because that's the work of love, man. That's, that's, that's us reaching out to our brothers, man. Putting our hand out there. That's the Heavenly Father. And his son, how was shot. Putting his hand out to you people and trying to awaken you people and trying to alert you people. Blowing that trumpet, man. So you can have a way to get, to get the fuck up out of here, man. Okay? Man, it pisses you off, bro. It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. And as the scripture says, man, the wicked shall wax worse and worse, man. So in that day, that's what the fuck they gonna be doing, man. You had you had uh dudes just being, you know, wicked and shit like that. Hey, it's gonna be a lot of murders going on in these streets, man. A whole lot of slaying, man. Okay? Whole lot of adultery committing, all type of all type of things on a whole nother type of level, man. You're gonna see, you're gonna see uh uh martial art troopers coming in and killing your baby right before your face. Your baby gonna be crying, they gonna be killing your fucking kids, man. They gonna be raping your fucking wives, man. Turn around, fuck around and rape you. You know? Put a gun up your ass and shoot you or something. It's gonna be so fucking wicked out here, man. You need that fire over the Oh, come, come. Uh, second Nazareth chapter 16. I'm gonna start at uh, 19. Behold, famine and play, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for admitting it. It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, <laughs> nor be always mindful of the scourges. See, from all these things, all of these things happening to you, hey man, all through the scriptures it tells you what, what that day is gonna be like. It's gonna be like a thief in the night. It's gonna be darkness and not light. You know, all of these things are gonna happen to you. Hey, the book of all, uh, Amos, all right, it tells you that you should flee from a lion and a bear met you. You get, get away from the bear and leave your hand on the wall and the serpent bites you, you know? And these people still won't work with you. It's the second message, nine. shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the same perils and shall see my salvation in my land and where is my borders for I have sanctified them from me from the beginning and then shall they be and then shall they so it was two days man it says then shall they be in pitiful case who's going to be in pitiful case the ones that didn't get right while they had liberty to man ones that didn't turn from that wicked neck, the wicked ways, you know? Then shall they be in pitiful case. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. Brother just read when these scourges was upon them, and they didn't think, they didn't think to, 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 to uh, face the east, man, and pray to the Lord, all right? You read that over. But even, even with that, they didn't even think to say to themselves, why am I getting fucked up like this? Why is this happening to me? Of course, a lot of people is gonna say, why me, Lord, why me? But they're not gonna even really think to really know that, hey, because the men was out there on the corners, they was warning your ass, you didn't take heed to them. That's, that's what you, did, you didn't see, hey, them men had them thermonuclear missile signs up in the air, and they were showing y'all this day was to come, but you fucking niggas didn't want to take heed to what they were saying. You drove by them, mocked them, you scoffed them, you threw things at them, you shot at them. Hey, you, a lot of you people, the ones that used to kill the prophets back in the ancient times, man. That's why this shit is happening to you, man. Because guess what? The Lord is not forgetting. Yahweh, while you have a shot, has not forgotten your sins, man. So the same things that you have done to the, against the men of the Lord, the same things the Lord is going to do it to you, but even worse, man. Wow, let's go just for a minute. Here we go. It becomes, it says, nor, he said, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So they, they, not, they not, even though all of these perils are going to hit these people, they're not going to be mindful of their wickedness. So they're not going to turn, they're not going to turn away and ask for the old paths. All right, saying this is the way of walking in it. They're not going to do that. It says, 
revealing they shall be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they, and they have cast, they have cast them away, despite the uh, despiteful shall dwell in torments. They that cast the ways away, cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. So they didn't give praises to the Lord when they received a good job or a nice car, all right, or, or, or a pleasant woman. When they received benefits in their life, they didn't know the Lord. So when these scourges hit them, they're not going to think. They're not going to think anything around the Lord, man. For as much in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, we go to the word loathe, it means to hate, man, or to despise, bitterly. They loathe the law of the Lord, man. Why do you think they ride past? Why do you think they roll the windows up when they hear us? All right? Why do you think that our, our views on, on YouTube, our lessons that we do every week, don't get any likes or any views, man, except from another brother, all right? And I'm talking about as a nation, not individually. You know, if the shoe fits, wear it, you know? This doesn't apply to everybody, it applies to the wicked, man, you know? And because these people don't care about the Lord. It says the same shall, uh, they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty, had yet liberty, and went as place of repentance, was open unto them and understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. And there, and therefore, be thou not curious, now the ungodly shall perish, man. Be not curious in how the ungodly shall perish. You know? And when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Though who the world is, and for whom the world is created. So be curious in how the righteous will save, all right, instead of wondering how these people are gonna die, all right? Uh, that was it today, that was it today. You still got that uh, second of 16? Yeah, I don't think you can look right there. I don't think you ran into it. No, I didn't get into the part yet. Yeah. Because the scripture says, uh, this is a uh, first Timothy. I'm gonna start at uh, chapter six, and I'm gonna start at uh, five. It says, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth. And you go into that word destitute, that word destitute means to, to, to defraud, rob, despoil, okay, kept back by fraud. So they're destitute of truth. It says, uh, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. And that's what the brother was going into, man. You know, you got these people that's having all these riches and getting all this, all these things, and they're, and they're thinking it to themselves, oh, God is with me. The Most High is with me, you know? But the Heavenly Father just said he have not known you, you know? And so when these things are crashing down upon you, you're not going to consider it's the Most High doing it to you. You're gonna be thinking, oh, this this uh it's this government and the corrupt things that's going on in it, man. When when the scripture says uh the most high is the author of good and evil, okay? He he uh he uh he bring it, uh he, he bring it. So this is uh Second Nazareth again, chapter 16, and I'm gonna start at uh 21, and it reads, Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth. Vittles are supplies, yep. things that you need to live. All right, vittles shall be so good, cheap upon the earth. And right. as you see right now, mm -hmm. you know, vittles are very good, cheap right now. Hey, I went to the, uh, I went to Walmart the other day, and a pack of 100 bullets is $30. Now that's, that's very, very cheap for 100 bullets, all right? Yep. Keep going. So the gas, as we all know, gas is a one ninety nine. It, it went from being in, in Gary, Indiana, or Indiana period, went from being two two seventy, two eighty. Whereas when it was in Chicago, it was like three twenty five or something like that. How much is Chicago? Now in Chicago is about like two twenty five, man. Yeah. Two two something low like to that that's, that's to that extent, man. Yeah. So people was thinking, oh, I got gas in my tank. I can drive around the world. You know, hey, you can go uh, stop by to a Burger King, a McDonald's, or a Wendy's. Go on that dollar menu and get some food. Bro, not even, not even fast food, bro. I'm talking about grocery store. 
Beatles, that too. Beatles, Beatles, period, you know? Yeah. Right now, everything's cheap right now. Hey, but the, but the it's economy. It's convenient. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's convenient. All right. But the economy is in very poor shape. You know, the economy is in terrible shape. You know, why do you think all of these countries are backing out of the dollar, man? Yeah. And going to the euro. Hey, the economy is in.